Okay, um, welcome back. Uh, it's been a couple weeks. Um, just last week, we had a power outage, which uh, took the Wi-Fi a while to get back up. So I could have made a video that just wouldn't have been uploaded. Um, so I didn't. But I've made a ton of progress. Well, um, and hopefully within the next couple weeks, the engine will be perfect and running. Uh, so yeah, I'll run you through what I've done. So we're back at the painting bit. Um, you can see everything's been painted. The only bits that are still being painted is the flywheel, uh, which I've had to flip over so it's taken longer. And I've just painted the exhaust today. I've got the Paragon uh, enamel stoving um, paint, which this is heat resistant. So um, I just need to chuck it in the oven once it dries. And that's everything done. Um, painting wise, you, all the parts here, I've got the starting handle all painted as well. So this is perfect. Um, and see here, the fuel tank is, I've got a black lid on, I've got the brass tap, and it's looking really good. Um, the only problem is inside it, there's a little bit of rust. Um, I don't know if I'm just gonna leave it um, or if I'm going to put some nuts in there and water and swish it around. I think I might just leave it though. Um, we've got the crankcase. I gave a shot at trying to like, uh, thing me the bore, but I don't know how well it worked. Um, so I'm sure it won't go too badly. Um, and I've got the new piece to go in there. So yeah, painting is literally done now. Um, the only thing is that I left to paint is the um, trolley. On note of the trolley, I still haven't got the wood for it, so I'm going to phone up my friend and see where the wood is. Um, and with that, I've just ordered the bolts for the trolley and a screw for the top of the magneto because I broke the top of this magneto, no, not magneto, carburetor. Um, I broke the top of this carburetor. So I'm gonna use the other one, but the other one needs a little screw. And I don't know if I've ordered the right screw, but cross our fingers. So back through here, um, uh, from my previous video, when I was wondering um, how old my engine is, um, I went on the forum and they all said 1950. But they also said I should email someone, so I emailed them and they got back to me. And it was really interesting. Um, she said that the engine was sold on, it was like the 24th of May, 1950, um, to someone, some company um, in Aberdeen, which is really interesting. So now I know like the exact date when this engine was um, sold. This is, I'm only trying to find out the engine I'm build, rebuilding, the other engine I'm not going to look into um, because it's just going to go to scrap. I've also been cleaning up all the parts. Um, so the whole the rocker shaft here have been cleaned. There's the greaser, it's all been cleaned. And all of the brass parts have all been cleaned. So you can see, um, it's all looking really nice. But yeah, everything is ready to go back on. All the bolts I've been painting inside, um, just because it's too cold outside to paint. So I'll take a video of inside the house uh, where I've been painting the bolts. Um, and it's getting really close. Next video, don't know if it will be next weekend or when, um, will be making the new trolley. There's all of the bolts. I'm going to need to get paint. I think I'm going to do it white. Um, if you've got any suggestions for colour of the trolley, which the lister will go on, put it down in the comments. Um, but I think I'm going to go with white, because that's what the first trolley was. Um, but yeah, I've got to paint that, and I've got to get paint for that. I've also got to get primer for that. But I've got the bolts are on their way. I've ordered them. Um, and then that will be, hopefully, the engine completed. Um, I'm lucky because I've got the wheels from the other trolley, which I'm going to use. But also, earlier I um, grinded the valves down, I think correctly. Um, uh, so that will hopefully give the engine a little bit smoother running. One bit which I am wondering about is on the 
uh, like Governor Rod assembly, um, there's a little uh, spring, I'm trying to find it, um, down at the bottom. But yeah, my spring is really compressed and it's not going to do anything. So I painted over it so it looks like alright, but I don't know if I should try take it off um, and buy a new one and put it on. I don't know like how much it affects how the engine runs. So yeah, this spring right on the end here, you can see I've painted over it. Um, that one just right here on the end. See, you can see it's not really going to do anything. So I'm just wondering if I should try take it off. Um, and risk damaging the paint or if I should just leave it because it doesn't really do anything but yeah sorry there wasn't a video out last week Um, it's just hard getting it all done and I feel like there's just not enough in it because it's just the same over and over again um, but if you enjoyed this video please drop a like if you have any suggestions of what I should do with the engine uh, or if you have any questions about it please drop a comment and apart from that I hope you enjoyed watching and I'll see you in the next video